Hello guys, this is Paul McWhorter with TopTechBoy.com and I am here with lesson number 24 on using your Raspberry Pi microcontroller. If you've been here for the first lessons, we've gone through quite a bit of information on Linux. You should be getting pretty com comfortable with the Linux uh, uh, environment now and, and comfortable operating from that command line in that terminal window. And so <clears throat> If you've gone through these uh, first 23 lessons, you're not like a networking expert. I wasn't really trying to take you through all the painful depths of the, 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 the Linux system, but just get it to where you can kind of operate and you can kind of do the things you want, find things, change things, edit things, move things, set up users, you know, find your way around. So for, you know, I'm kind of designing these for high school students or college students and kind of at that level, you're sort of able to find your way around. And so we're to the point now that we want to kind of <clears throat> start moving moving towards actually doing something. And so what we're going to look at today is running Python. How can we run Python on the Raspberry Pi? I'm not going to really be teaching you Python programming. If you want to learn that, you can go back. I did a series on using Arduino with Python, and there's quite a bit of Python on there. And you know that's probably the best place to start. So I'm not going to try to go in and really teach you Python, but just kind of how do we get the Python running on the Pi? The good news is <clears throat> the default installation of the Raspberry Pi operating system <coughs> excuse me, has Python on it. So all we got to do is just kind of find it and run it. <clears throat> so let's start. How would we write a Python program? Well, we don't really have the fancy visual editors here operating in the command line. So how do we edit a file? We do nano. But let's kind of take a second and see where we are. Let's see, we are in uh, PWD. We are in the slash home slash pi. Um, I'm logged in as pi. And so we probably should make a directory. So make, make directory. Let's go reference from our present location home. And let's call it my files or my, I'm going to call it my Python. Okay. So that'd be a good place to put our Python files. Let's do an ls. Now we got desktop, my Python, and Python games. So we're in my Python. So <clears throat> how would we create a program? Well, how would we edit a file? We would do nano. Okay. And then let's just call it hello. I'm, but I gotta tell it where. So let's go down to uh, my Pyth my Python. That's the folder, no leading, uh, no leading slash because <coughs> we are referencing from the folder we're in. We're going down one folder to my Python, <coughs> and then we're going to call it hello. The file is going to be hello.txt. All right. So now we're editing the file. So I'm going to say print, and then I'm going to say so. This is going to be my Python program. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, 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 no. Control X. Uh, Control X. Okay, I shouldn't have called it .txt. Let's look ls <clears throat> uh, ls my Python. Okay, let's remove <clears throat> my Python slash hello .txt ls my Python. Okay, nothing in there. <clears throat> okay, what I should have done is say nano my python and then go hello dot python now it would have run you could have run it with the dot txt extension the, the, the extension doesn't really do anything <clears throat> but it's good practice to name your python files dot pi that way if you want to go and say find all my python file files you could say find uh, slash uh, space minus name and then star dot pi and you could find everything with the dot pi extension and so let's be good about being careful and neat with our extensions and so i got a little a little careless there so let's do that now we are editing a python file in the folder my python called hello pi and i'm going to say print and i'm going to say hello Texas. Okay. I bet you thought I was going to say hello world, but I said hello Texas. I guess that might be a little bit rude since there might be people not from Texas and they would feel left out, but somehow I want to get Texas into this. So how about this? Texas says howdy. Okay. So that I get the Texas in, but I don't leave anybody out. So how do I exit out? Well, I do control O. 
and that says file name to write my Python. Yes, so I just click enter and then I control X to get out. Now I do ls my Python and boom, there it is. Hello. Now can we run that? This is the way you run a Python program on the Pi. You just type Python. It'll find it. It knows where it is as it's installed. It will know where Python is, so you don't have to go in and put path names or anything there. But you do have to give the path name to the file that you want to run. So if I wanted to start with the root, I could say slash home, slash pi, slash my, python, slash hello.py. Okay, well, let's see if it works. Look at the looky there, it says Texas says howdy. Okay, so we just ran a Python program. Pretty exciting, isn't it? But you're maybe wondering what version of Python are we running here? Well, let's make a new file. <clears throat> I'm going to cd down into there so I don't have to keep putting the paths in there. So cd my Python <coughs> ls. Okay, I'm in it. So now let's do a nano, and this time let's say which.py. That's going to be the program. I'm going to start by saying import the system library, and then I'm going to say print sys.version, okay, and then I'm going to control O to save it, enter, and control X. Now I'm going to say python which.py. <clears throat> Look at that. We are running, <clears throat> we're just putting in the command Python. It is running Python 2.7.3, and that's really <clears throat> a great version of Python. The big controversy, all the versions of kind of 2.7 or 2.6 and later, all the sort of twos are kind of the same. And then when they went to Python version 3, the latest and greatest, there were some real changes. The thing is, there are millions and millions of libraries that were written in the sort of Python vintage version 2. And some of those things are not really getting updated for version 3. Maybe somebody made a smack dab great job of, on a library for, for version 2, but they got on to other things in their life and they didn't really ever go in and update the library for, <clears throat> for version 3. And so what that means is, is that as we're taking advantage of this huge legacy library base that exists for, for 2, a lot of those don't work if you go to 3. When I look at version 3 and I look at version 2, for me, just being the simple guy I am, I don't see a lot of reason for going to 3. I sort of give up things that I might really need, <clears throat> and I don't really gain anything. So, <clears throat> I like staying with version uh, with version 2. Okay, But, actually, on the Raspberry Pi, you can run different versions. If you just say Python, it's going to run... 2.7.3. But what if I say Python 2 and tell it specifically to run 2 and then which.py? Okay, it's going to run 2.7.3, but I told it specifically to run 2. What if I tell it specifically to run 3 and run which.py? So I tell it try to run version 3. If I do that, it tries to run, but boom, I get an error. Why? Because print statements <clears throat> are different in Python 3 than they are in Python 2. So if this is going to run on 3, I'm going to have to do a nano which.py. And I'm going to have to make this version 3 friendly, which means I need to come down. And this needs to be in like a, I guess this would be like a function. You know, you would have to do that. All right. And so now we're going to control O, enter, control X, nano. <clears throat> which dot pi, uh, or I'm sorry, we're going to do uh, Python 3 and which dot pi. And look at that. It says that I'm running 3.2.3. So when I say Python 3, it runs 3.2.3. I bet I could say Python 3.2 and which dot pi. And yeah, it takes that as Python 3.2.3. Uh, 3. I wonder if I could do Python 3.1. I wonder if that's on there. I, d I don't really know. I'm just kind of playing around. Okay. No, it's not. <clears throat> so I can run Python 3.2 uh, or I can run Python 2.7. I just wonder Python uh, 2.6, whether that's on which.py. 
Okay, command not found. How about just Python again uh, to which.py. <clears throat> Look at that. With that other print statement, I guess that way it'll work in 2.7 or uh, 3 where you put the print inside the uh, inside the parentheses. So anyway, what you can see here is now that you can uh, su you can uh, nano uh, uh, program.py and now you can go in and you can just start doing all the things that you know how to do in Python. Let's say uh, x is equal to 1 and then I can say while 1 equal 1 uh, like that and then I tab over and I can say print x and then I can say x is equal to x plus 1 okay and then I don't want this to go forever so while uh, let's see why don't we say while uh, x is less than 100 do this okay control O <coughs> enter control X we're going to do Python uh, I forgot something okay yeah that works control X okay so now we're going to go Python we're going to go program.py and boom Okay, look at that. That thing counted to 100 before, or to 99 before we could even blink. Okay, I can't help it. Nano <coughs> uh, pro, program.py. Okay, I'm going to go to 1,000. I keep trying to use the mouse in the terminal window, and you can't go to 1,000. And also, I'm going to say less than or equal to so that it'll actually get that last point. So we're going to say Control O, Control X, or Control O, Enter, Control X. And now we're going to go to Python. This will be version 2 because I'm not putting anything in there. Dot pi. And then look at that. It printed to a thousand faster than we could even uh, even see it. And it went all the way to the thousand that time. Okay. So like I say, go back to my Arduino with Python lessons, toptechboy.com. You can find the lessons there if you need to learn more about Python. But kind of with what I have you going on here, you're ready to sit down and start running Python. In fact, if you go back to those lessons where I showed you how to use Arduino with Python, what you could see that you could do now is, is that you could get your Arduino and you could actually run it from the Raspberry Pi, right? You could type, you could plug the, uh, the 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 Arduino into the Raspberry Pi, and you could have Python. You could have the Pi working with the Arduino via Python, because I've already shown you in those Arduino with Python lessons how to communicate between the Arduino and Python. Now I've shown you how to run Python on the Raspberry Pi. And so now you could make a little unit where you had the, the Raspberry Pi and the Python, uh, the Raspberry Pi and the Arduino working and talking together and doing a project because they could talk back and forth to each other because you can run Python on the Raspberry Pi. Hopefully that makes sense what I'm saying, but go back and look at those earlier lessons. In this series of lessons, I'm not going to go in and actually teach Python. Go back and look at those earlier lessons. What I would like to do is I would like to, to move ahead and sort of we've gotten the kind of overhead, the bookkeeping out of the way of how to get the Pi running, <clears throat> how to find your way around with Linux. You just got to know that and that's good stuff to know anyway. Now I'd like to start seeing, can we maybe start building things, kind of doing things as we start working with these pins. You remember in the Arduino, how we could write and read from pins. Well, can we now sort of start writing programs where we're running on the Pi, but we're starting to kind of kind of work more at the uh, hardware level? Okay, Paul McWhorter at toptechboy.com. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys like this, give me a thumbs up. Think about subscribing to the channel. Maybe share this with other people. I want to get more people in the Pi learning this high tech stuff. It's good stuff. Talk to you guys later.